All right, Strike Suit Zero, Mission Three, Aftermath. Begin with the Raptor. Now, this was the mission I was talking about earlier that had the really, really cool scenery and background. I, I wish I could get a wallpaper of it because that's how awesome it looks. So, let's go ahead. Just look at that. I mean, I know it's a horrible, horrible thing to see a planet that people used to be on be destroyed. But that is such cool scenery. Props to the art department on this one, guys. You guys really shine here. Okay, let's deal with some interceptors here real quick. And this is why I love the Raptor. A threat, an ambush is now nothing. <laughs> just like that, they leave. And honestly, I would too if just about every single person with my uh, squadron just gets decimated. Let's go help out the frigate Mercury. This is Flight Leader Reynolds, Mercury. Good to hear someone made it. We're on our way. Adams, get in close. Protect the frigate. Proteus, stay back. Reynolds, we're trying to get the turrets back online. It's going to take some time. Just keep them off us till then. Took care of that one. Honestly, I think these enemies are endless until their guns come back online. Oh well, more points for me, I guess.
and there we go. The Mercury has their guns online with a Corvette moving in. And I think this Corvette shoots torpedoes. So a giant colonial superweapon destroyed the planet. Now we have to find out what it is and how it's able to do something like this. Alright, we have to save the Arcadia. some torpedoes around here. Just want to make sure that none of them fly towards the Arcadia. And now these white spots here represent all of the weak points within the structure of this particular ship. So blowing all of these up will cause the ship to explode. Well, at least the majority of them. Torpedoes. Gather yeah, a little bit more flux. There. Now the whole thing should explode. At least I think it will. Pretty close to it, actually. There's gotta be another weak point somewhere on the ship that we can take down. Not even my rocket pods are doing much. That's a shame. I really thought I could destroy it. Not for long. We need to get out of here. Captain McCullough, the enemy are 
taking their weapon to Earth. They're going to destroy it. We have to go back. Do what exactly? We're outgunned and up against a weapon we don't understand. Captain McCallum, I can help. I have a plan. Control? What are you doing here? We picked her up at the Thor facility, Captain. I thought they shut that place down after Akira. They did. I stayed. And your team? They were killed shortly after the project was shut down. Proteus, we better bring her aboard. I have a lot of questions. Copy that, Arcadia. Captain, your questions will have to wait. You do not have much time. A group of colonial capital ships is approaching. Their vanguard will fold in at any moment. Copy that. We've got fighters incoming. One last batch of fighters. The colonial capital ships will be here soon. We have to send the Mercury away before they arrive. And just like that, they are destroyed. Again, the Raptor is just an awesome strike suit. The only problem is that you have to get in really close. These torpedoes. Last long against those frigates. Control, whatever your solution is, I need it now. It is in hand, Captain. You need to hold out a few seconds longer. See if I can take down one of these frigates. First, I need to intercept these torpedoes. Get in time. Okay, yeah. Been 
manage to get them all, but... Boom! Control, give me a secure channel. Captain? Coleman was your solution? He's obsessive, unstable. He doesn't care about Earth. He only cares about hunting down the Black Fleet. Which is one of the reasons he is still alive. And his obsession with the Black Fleet is not entirely irrelevant. More importantly, Captain, you need his support to survive. And he is the reason why you sent the Mercury away. The Mercury had to leave before Commander Bowman could override my instructions. Wasn't Bowman the one who shut your project down? Commander Bowman was happy to use the project when it suited him. After Akira, he felt differently. After Akira, everybody felt differently. And that's it for mission three. A little bit longer than usual, but again, sometimes these missions are really, really fun because of the fact that they are long. And it only gets better from here. So next time, we'll be engaging in even more action with, now that we're assembling a fleet to intercept the super weapon at Earth, it only gets better and better. Until next time, Phantasm Mask here. Signing out.